Okay, y'all, so I am done with my makeup. Period. Lashes are Flooring Lashes Style 1996. So I'll go copy some lashes. They're the real Minx Minx. Okay, so, you know, hit it. But, um, it is currently almost 9 o'clock. And the aquarium don't open until, like, 10. So we're going to leave, like, around 9.30ish because it's, like, 20-minute drive. And y'all know Houston people don't know how to fucking drive because they don't. We don't know how to drive, and it's upsetting. The fuck? But, um, yeah, y'all. Excuse my bad acne. It's the bad acne for me, y'all. Look at this. This is crazy. But anyways, y'all. Can we just, like... Oh, my God. This is so cute. I'll leave her Instagram down below, so y'all make sure y'all follow book appointment with her. Best. The best. just ahead was built in the late 1800s. It was used to pump water from the bayou for Houston residents and for the fire stations to utilize. Over the next 100 years, as Houston grew, fresh water became apparent, and that became the end of the waterworks building. Now, it's home to 200,000 gallons of seawater. In the fall of 2017, Hurricane Harvey was an unprecedented storm that caused unforeseen damage to our shark tunnel and tanks. The life support systems and all electrical were destroyed. It was engulfed with 27 feet of water. If you look up to the building on your right, you'll see the marked bloodlines from the and can reach over 20 feet in length, weighing over 1,000 pounds. The sawfish uses its toothed saw to kill its prey. The large female sawfish you see actually survived Hurricane Harvey's flood. Due to her ability to live in lower oxygen environments and in both fresh and salt water, she was able to maintain